Hey guys, wanted to do a quick review of the Convoy S8 flashlight host that I ordered from banggood.com. Uh, I do live on the west coast and this got to me in less than two weeks. So pretty good shipping. I gotta say right out of the box, um, it came just like this with the, uh, with the clip on and the lanyard already attached. And uh, I'm very impressed with the quality. This fish, the finish is very smooth. Uh, and the uh, the anodizing is really nice. This feels the texture on this is really smooth. It's really slick. It's very satiny. And the first thing I noticed is that the threads feel really great. See, it's 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 loose here, and as you screw it in, it starts to feel a little tighter. Starts to feel a little tighter, and it's very satiny, very satiny. The threads are uh, pre lubed. There's just a very light amount of um, Feels like a feels like a grease on there, uh, rather than an oil. Uh, so that's very nice. That helps with uh, weatherproofing, waterproofing, and uh, uh, keeps the keeps the, the the threads nice and smooth. These do appear. I don't know if you can. Uh, you're not probably not going to be able to get a good shot of this, but the threads uh, are really nice on here. They're really nicely machined. They're not quite square cut, uh, and uh, and they're very they're very tight. The end cap. Is is the is the type where you can open up? You can see you can you can get at that disc in there. You can open up so you can do a um, a tail mod, uh, so you can uh, run a um, run a piece of wire so you can get a much better uh, contact point out of the tail if you want, or rebuild it, put a different switch in there, whatever you like. Opening it up, there's the retainer ring uh, for the for the pillar, and then. It just came with a, um, a spring and the um, a little piece for securing the LED in the top. So, and and oh, this was another thing that I noticed was just how tight this join is right here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Um, the 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 join is is really smooth right there. So you almost you don't even know that the flashlight comes apart right there. And again, the threads here just feel great. It's, it's quite loose to start and then as you clamp it down you can feel it firm up and it's a nice gradual process and it just feels phenomenal. Um, getting the pillar out of the head is a little weird. I did find a, a way to do it uh, relatively easily. Two pens. One pen goes in one hole the other pen goes in the other hole. Hold them just like this, and then turn the head. There you go. The pillar itself is uh, all brass. It could be a little bit bigger. If it was a little bit bigger, it would have more contact with the threads, and I feel like you'd get better heat dissipation. But I haven't actually installed my LED and my driver in here yet. So, um, but I, I think it'll be fine. I think it's plenty, a little bit of lithium grease to help, uh, uh, to help uh, um, um, heat flow a little bit better. So here you see, here's the, uh, the pillar. It's a nice solid, uh, all brass pillar. Looks like this is gonna take a 17 millimeter driver and a 16 millimeter LED, which I've already ordered from uh, Mountain Electronics. I have an uh, XPL and um, a really nice driver going. So um, here's the reflector itself. Aluminum. It's got some nice spacings there so uh, it does a little bit of heat transfer and a little bit of heat sinking. Um, and it's well made. It's a nice uh, orange peel reflector. It's fairly deep. This is not a wide flashlight so I wouldn't expect to get a ton of throw out of this. Um, but this is my purpose for this flashlight is an urban EDC flashlight, an urban everyday carry carry flashlight. And with the size, which is similar to the other Convoy hosts, the S2 and, and whatnot. Um, and it's got this nice crenellated head. It's not an overly aggressive crenellation, but it is definitely there. So it makes a nice striker uh, if anybody comes at you or something like that, but or for emergency situations, you know, if you need to break a windshield or something. Uh, nice anti-reflective lens came with it, and, uh, and I don't know if you can see there's an O-ring in there. There's a green 
o-ring in there and i haven't tested the waterproofing on this yet i might do an agenda to this video uh, after i have a chance to test the waterproofing but i can tell you with the way that the threading feels and the way all this seems to come together i i think this is going to be very weather resistant if not waterproof it's going to be quite weather resistant i don't think you're going to have too much to worry about and i think this is going to be a phenomenal uh, everyday carry for me i've got a, a lucid drive 2 um, driver that just came in the mail uh, when i get this whole thing assembled i'll probably do another video and do a side-by-side -side comparison with an xpl high flashlight that i've got do some beam shots some flashlight porn but I gotta say, from Banggood, I got this for uh, for ten dollars from Banggood, and this feels like just a phenomenal host um, for an everyday carry. Something small, light, fits in your pocket, and for an urban environment like where I live, I think this is just gonna be uh, gonna be ideal. Eighteen six fifty flashlight, ten dollars. If you can do any soldering, uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, you can, you know, totally customize this for the exact light and driver that you want, and um, I really don't see how you can go wrong. So, if you're looking for a good host uh, for your next uh, flashlight, for your next DIY flashlight build, I, uh, I I can't imagine why you would overlook this one. And you can even get the the Convoy S8. You can get uh, the complete flashlight for fifteen dollars, I think, on Banggood. Um, which is an amazing deal. I don't know how good the drivers are uh, or how good the LEDs are. I mean, they're going to be XPLs or XML2s or whatever, so it'll probably be just fine for most folks. Um, I'm going to end up spending probably a total of about $30 on this uh, because um, I have customized it so heavily with the driver and the flat and the, um, the LED that I want. So give it a shot, guys. I think you'll enjoy it. Take care.